Hi, I'm Phyllis. My website is southernfrugal.com. Today we're finally getting around to the chocolate covered cherries. So what I'm going to do is just simply use a recipe that was on uh, allrecipes.com. Y'all can look that up and find this. It's real simple. So I've already got three tablespoons of butter softened and three tablespoons of the light corn syrup in my bowl. And we're just going to mix that up best we can. And it definitely helps. You want that butter softened. And also I'm using a bottle, let me see how many ounces this is, 16 ounce bottle of maraschino cherries and there's about 30 in this bottle. So. And I don't even know if I'm going to make that many or not because I can't eat them because I'm allergic to cherries, but other people can eat them. All right, so we've got that mixed up. And again, that's three tablespoons of softened butter and three tablespoons of light corn syrup. And we're going to use two cups of confectioner's sugar and just mix that in until we get the right consistency of a dough. Go ahead and get my second cup out. Again, that's two cups of confectioner's sugar. I'm trying to not make a mess here, too. All right, let's just set this down right here. Let's see if we can't get this mixed in and make ourselves a little dough. And what we're going to do is wrap each cherry. Now, I do not, I think that recipe calls to put the cherries on the uh, on a paper towel to kind of dry them out. Well, I don't do that. I'm just going to let the cherries drain and let that be it. All right, so we're going to have to at some point use our hands. Let me move y'all closer so you can see better what I'm doing. First cup all mixed in first. Yeah, y'all, our weather turned spring-like again. I think it's probably 60 degrees outside today, as I think it was yesterday too. We didn't even wear a coat or a sweater when we went to church yesterday. I mean, it's like springtime out there not like Christmas at all. All right, so we've got that first cup pretty well mixed down. We'll go ahead and dump in the second cup. Mix that in as much as I can with a fork. And then I'll have to use my hands. Let me move this out of the way. I just put a clothespin on my bag to keep it from spilling in the cabinet. Put that aside. All right, we're going to have to use our hands now. And just mix it up like you were mixing up a, a dough for maybe a pie crust or something. Yeah, so these things, these uh, chocolate covered cherries should sit really for about two weeks so the inside of them gets that little liquidy part in it. And I don't have time for that, so it's already too close to Christmas, but I'm doing the best I can, so. I'll use both hands now. Of course, the warmth of your hands helps keep that butter pliable in there. Get 
all of it up that I can. So that butter will kind of cools on the bottom there. So I just want to kind of scrape it up. Just kind of kneading it like it, like it was dough. Okay, I think we got it enough now. And again, the warmth of your hands helps keep that dough pliable. do now is pinch off a small amount, maybe a teaspoonful or so, roll it around a little ball and then we want to mash it out and see your, by kneading it you get your hands a little bit oily and that helps. Now I'm using the cherries that do not have a stem. So now we're just going to take one of the cherries. See, they've drained a whole bunch of the juice now. Take one of the cherries, put it right in the middle, and just fold it up. Like that. <coughs> okay, I'm going to do a whole bunch of them, and then we'll be back. All right, we are back, and I've got about maybe five more, four more to do. And so, of course, you roll them in a bowl, and then take the, that fatty part of your thumb there, and just mash them down and kind of go around. It's a lot easier than just trying to do them like that. And then just gently lift it off the palm of your hand, and put the cherry right in the middle. Now again, I have not put my cherries on paper towels because I want them to hurry up and get some of that juice in them. And so therefore, I am leaving some of that juice in them. So I just put them like that. Let that thick part of the uh, sugar mixture be on the bottom. All right, let's see, I think I think we're going to have about 30 here. Now, by the way, I think that recipe, and I will link that recipe on the bottom of this video, but I do think that recipe says that this uh, confection, confectionery sugars uh, will make 60, but I think that's wrong. I think it will make 30, just saying, okay? That's what it looked like to me, and by the way, my cherries were really, really small. All right, so what I do is pinch it at the top and on each side. And by the way, fingernails are your enemy when you're doing this. They really are. You have to have short nails because if you puncture it, you're going to have a mess. And then I just flatten out the bottom like that. Go ahead and sit them down. All right, let's see. Maybe we can get three more out of this. I hope so anyway. And just flatten it out with your that fatty part of your thumb. And it doesn't matter if it's a perfect circle or not. And then I just turn them over. And then put the cherry right in the middle. Bend it up and just kind of pinch it together a little bit like on each side like that, and then kind of work it up to one end of it. T treating it real gentle because you don't want to break any of it open. Like that. I 
I think we can do two more, maybe. Yeah, two more. So this recipe, in my case, actually made 31 covers for the little cherries. And again, my cherries are pretty little. This is the Great Value brand. Again, we're going to twist it up to the top and just barely pinch it together like that. And then just gently kind of pull it up to, to the top end like that. And then just mash it. I'm really wanting that flat, heavier part to be on the bottom of the cherry like that. All right, we got one more. Again, I'm just mashing it out like that. It's a lot faster, I think, that way. Put your cherry in the middle. Just bend it up. Pinch it together. Again, if you have fingernails any length at all, you, you'll puncture that. Don't like that. And I'm really hoping, I guess it's about 10 days till Christmas, but we'll be having a Christmas party before that. So I'm hoping that because I left a little bit of the fluid in them, it will, they will make up faster. Okay, so this recipe made exactly 31. So this is one where I punctured it with my fingernail, so I had to kind of patch it a little bit. But the rest of them look like they're all intact. So we're gonna let these sit out for just a little while while my chocolate's melting. So what I'm gonna do is use my small crock pot and I've got it on low and I've got water in it, but it's about this far from the bowl and the water is not boiling, it's just pretty hot. So I'm gonna use these Hershey bars. I think we'll start out with three of them. Just, I'm using the milk chocolate because that's what I like, milk chocolate. Let me just break those up in there. And then we'll let me sit these over on the counter. Just gonna break these up and put them right down in there. And again, I'm gonna start out with three of these Hershey bars. Yeah, I kind of gave up on the, uh, the little chocolate morsels. I'd kind of had enough of those. I think the Hershey bars work much, much better. All right, let's do one more. That'll make three. And I think that'll be enough to cover 31 cherries. So we're going to let these melt. I'm going to actually put a little saucer over the top of this because if I put, I don't want to put the lid in any moisture form under it because I have learned my lesson on getting any kind of liquid in the chocolate, including extra vanilla. So we'll be back when this all gets melted and I might go ahead and add about a teaspoon of Crisco to it. We'll be back. All right, we are in the process of dipping these now and I am doing them one at a time because the chocolate is hot and I don't want any of that uh, sugar and, and really butter and corn syrup to start melting. So I'm taking them off the spoon like that, kind of letting it drip a little bit and then slipping it on the sheet and I have a toothpick I'm just gently scraping it off the fork. So I did put a little bit of Crisco on my parchment paper just to be sure they're gonna come off. 
So I'm definitely going to have to melt a couple more of those chocolate bars for this. And by the way, the, the little crock pot is working great. It's not plugged up now, but the water, and of course, is still hot in it. Let's see if I can just scoot this one off real quick like. They're not perfect, but they're good, so I think everybody will really like these. And again, I'm not leaving them in this hot chocolate for very long. Just dip them out and kind of shake them a little bit there. Scoot them off with the little toothpick. Make sure that's all covered. Yeah, I know it's hard to do these and not have them leak, you know, after they're aged a few days. Might have to uh, coat the bottom of them again. I'm going to see if they'll come off this parchment paper if they're, they easily come off. I'm just going to transfer that to my fork. I see a little place that didn't get covered right there. And then just kind of let them roll off the fork. All right, y'all, I got to do the rest of these. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, six, eighteen more to do. We'll be back when I get these finished. All right, we are back, and I went ahead and put these in. I actually put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes. And so what I'm gonna do, see that on the bottom? I'm gonna dip that. This I melted two more uh, bars of the Hershey's chocolate. So all together, I used five of the 1.55 ounce bars. So I'm just dipping the bottoms like that. I don't think anyone will mind that they've got extra chocolate on them, on the bottom. And any little place on them that showing where it might leak. Oops, I dropped that one. That was not a good thing. I'm actually going to break that off. On the side there. And any little place I see on them that might be a place that might leak. See how the bottom looks? Just dipping them again. See that one? Can y'all see that? Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to finish dipping the bottoms of all of these and then we'll be back. All right, I finally finished these cherries. Boy, they were a lot, lot of trouble. So what I'm going to do for the uh, uh, candy that I'm going to take on a platter to a Christmas gathering. I'm just going to pick out the prettiest ones and the rest of them I guess we'll just keep here and Mr. Bucky can eat them. Look here, I had one leaker. Yeah. And so he ate that one. He said they were really good, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, uh, it's definitely going to take seven of the Hershey's and this is a uh, 1.55 ounce uh, little bar, so it definitely will take seven of these to coat 30 of these chocolate covered cherries. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time, and I'm sure y'all will do better than I did with these. And I, I really don't like the idea of putting paraffin in the paraffin wax in the uh, in any of the candy. I'm not sure why, I just don't like that idea because I think it's already got some in it anyway. Anyway, so we're going to let these sit for, it'll be about a week or so, 
and then that um, confectionery sugar uh, concoction will sort of um, turn to a little bit of a liquid and uh, they should be okay. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.